Hey, I'm Zach. And I'm Jesse. And Jesse, I got a problem uh, charging our new electric pickup trucks. I think I might have a solution. Oh, good. Next. Next. Well, now let's review. All right, so the problem, Jesse, is that we have Tesla wall chargers, but our trucks, the I'm F sorry, I'm sorry. I think you mean a uh, Tesla high-powered wall connector. Okay. That's, yeah. It's technically their correct term because it's not a charger. The charger is in the vehicle. Yes. Sorry. Yes. That's what um, I mean. But for everyone else, it's called a charger. And it has a Tesla plug on it, but our Ford F-150 and our Rivian uh, only have the J1772 plugs. So how do I charge them at home? Bingo. Right here, you got a Tesla female plug and a male J1772. So you plug in your Tesla high powered wall to connector, and then you can plug this directly into any electric car that isn't a Tesla. So this is from Electron mm -hmm. and uh, it goes up to 48 amps. Yes, it comes in two different versions, the 40 amp and the 48 amp version. You can also get it in white or black. Mm -hmm. We have it here in black. Um, and what I really like about this is, do you have our old version? I do. So here's the old version of this. And uh, this was, I don't even think Electron made this. This was just some company that designed it. And, and as you can see, similar female side of the Tesla, and then basically a regular J1772 adapter. The biggest problem with, with this one was that this giant piece of plastic that they machined out was really hard to pull off. Right, what I like about this is there's this just little uh, clip here, you're seeing it, um, where it's really easy to clip it on and off. Because this one relied on like, uh, friction fit, uh, and so the tolerances had to be really right, high. It, there's no connector button. There's yeah. no connect, there's no latch. Um, this one takes advantage of the latch that's already built into the Tesla One. Now, this isn't cheap. It's $149, I think, at the moment on Electron. I think it's uh, on sale from $179, but that is cheaper than putting in a whole new, you know, wall charger for just those occasional things of like, maybe your friend's coming over with their Leaf, or maybe your, your family just bought, you know, you have a Tesla, maybe you just bought a Leaf or something. Well, not only that, but like, let's say that your family is now a multi-EV family, and so you have a Tesla and you also have something else. And obviously you started with the Tesla, so that's why the Tesla connector's on there. If you wanted to put, you know, a regular J1772 charger on the wall, that would mean, first of all, you'd have to buy one, and they're usually in the, you know, $200 to $500 right. price category. They can get as high as $800. And then you'd also have to hire an electrician, and the electrician would not want to put those two chargers on the same circuit. Because right. if you ever plugged both of them in at the same time, you would blow the breaker. That's what's so nice about the Tesla high powered wall connector is that the new gen versions talk to each other and can share power. That's true. And they should be able to share power even if you're using one of these. Yeah. So, I mean, we have two Tesla high power wall connectors. We use this all the time. We've been using this now for at least two months. Yep. And so I just, I really wanted to test it out for you. It looks like the day we got it, like it doesn't wear out. There's nothing to wear out. Yeah. It's held up really well. I think it's gotten dropped a few times. It's, it's robustly <laughs> it built Yeah. and everyone loves it. We've used it on volts, Leafs, Rivian R1T, Ford F-150 Lightning. We've used it pretty much across the board. It works flawlessly. Yeah, and I think that that's really important because not all EVs are built the same. You might think that, you know, just because the charging size works, sometimes there can be problems. Um, it should be a standard, but uh, sometimes, you know, you'd have like an extra flange down here and it won't plug in. But yeah, you don't have to worry about it with this one. So here's another use case for this. If you have a non-Tesla and you're going on a little road trip and you get to a place that has a Tesla destination charger, which are very common, you should be able to use this and plug in. It goes up to 48 amps. Some of those are higher. You can just tell your car to use less power. Mm -hmm. So you should be able to use this at the entire Tesla destination charger network, which is huge. If you go on Tesla's website, uh, you can see them all. And so a lot of hotels and restaurants have them, which means you've just extended your network. Now, important point. This is not for supercharging, right? Right. This is a J1772 adapter. And if you know anything about electric cars, this is not a fast charging plug. Right. If you, if it were a fast charging plug, it would have two more DC pins, ports here yeah. and it does not have those pins. So this cannot be used at a Tesla supercharger station. Nope. You can't use any of the Tesla supercharger network. This is just for the destination charging network. Just to be clear, no supercharging with this because it's just not designed for it. So I think the only question, if you're in that use case where you're like, okay, I've got Tesla stuff at home, but I've also got a non-Tesla, or you have family members who come over a lot, you're like, that sounds great, Zach. It's just, it's 150 bucks, and I don't know if I wanna spend the money on this adapter. And that is, I think, the big question. Up until the price, it's everything you want. 
but maybe that's just too much for your budget right now. However, if you have a non-Tesla EV parked at home now, and you're thinking about, you know, charging, you're either gonna have to do a level one charging solution where you're gonna plug into the outlet and it comes with, you know, the charger that came with the car, or you're gonna have to think of a much more expensive solution than this. This does solve that problem. The only thing is, if you're trying to solve this problem, which would be, you're a Tesla family, but you've got non-Tesla people coming over occasionally, then that's where I'm like, mm, it might not be worth it because mm -hmm. it's just so occasional. It really depends on the use case. You can also loan it out to a friend, but uh, yeah, I just think that for what it is, it's an excellent little product. Yeah, anyway, we'll put the link down below to Electron so you can check it out. Um, we're really happy with the quality. And if you have any questions or comments, put those down below so we can get to them. We review lots of different things from little things to big things, and we wanna know what you want reviewed. Thanks so much for joining us, everybody. We'll see you next time on Now Let's Review.